All right, behind me today, I have a 2011 Chevy Camaro. We're going to be removing the rear wheels. Actually, we're removing all the wheels, polishing them inside and out. You know where the lug nuts are, where the brake calipers are, where you can't get to. So this is a service that we provide. Uh, we usually do it about once a year for some of our clients. Uh, we charge $200 to remove the wheels, polish them inside and out. I uh, just so want to kind of take you over here, and I'll show you what we do. Okay, here's one of the wheels that we've already done. As you can notice, we go inside and we clean all the lug nuts, clean all the passageways, clean the brake caliper, clean all up inside the wheel, all nice and shiny. We'll trim up the plastic underneath here. Okay, so let me take you over this other one that we haven't started on yet. This is the last wheel you, that we have left. So you can see the dirt and dust in there. You can see this lip right here where that dust is. We're going to clean all that off, and especially up in here where it's really hard to get to. Okay, and then we'll also clean the Brembo brakes. Um, so let's set you on the tripod and show you what we got. All right, our first step, obviously, we need to break the lug nuts loose. So it's got a breaker bar. All right, now that we've got the rim removed, you can still see there's a little bit of brake dust here, obviously on the side of the wheel. We're just going to hit it with some degreaser. Let it soak for a minute. We're going to just wipe it down. We look for any tar, any debris, any rust that may be attaching to the wheel. Just wipe it down. We'll wipe down the spokes. We'll wipe down the tire. We'll come back with a minute in a minute here with some conditioner. All right. Our next step, we're going to just take some silicone protectant, hit the tire, and hit the rim. And then we're just going to kind of massage that in. Okay, and then when that's done, I'm going to take another towel and just kind of polish it in. This helps put a protective finish on the inside of the rim so that if, you know, they run over any more road tar, street grime, stuff like that, it won't stick to the wheel as easy as if it stayed dirty. Okay, so clean it inside and out. Looks pretty sharp. Then, what we want to do now is we want to clean these lug nuts. So, what we're going to do is hit it with some degreaser, okay, all throughout. Now, this is a really old, dirty towel. I'm going to use that to get the grease and grime out of the lug nut sockets, okay. Kind of clean the tire a little bit, spokes. Okay, now we're going to hit it with some of the silicone protectant and we're going to massage that in. Okay, so this doesn't take very long. Maybe to do the whole job, maybe two hours, pull the wheels off. So we get all the lug nut sockets nice and clean, polish up the rim, and go ahead and put it back on. Okay, now that we've got the wheel cleaned, we want to clean out the wheel liner and the brake cal caliper. We're just going to spray some silicone protectant on the inside, spray a little on the brake, wipe it down, wipe down the brake caliper, the cable, and we're going to polish up the plastics under the liner here. Because these wheels are so big, they have a... Uh, really hard time cleaning on the inside so by taking the wheel off really helps access everything a lot easier okay now that we've got the wheel liner cleaned we've cleaned the brake caliper all the mounting hardware in there wheels all nice and clean on the inside we go ahead and put it back on the car All right, so there you have it. Didn't take too long. It took about an hour and a half to replace these wheels, pull them off, clean them inside and out. Charge 200 bucks. Good way to make some extra cash. So we also got to do a detail on this. So it turns out to be a pretty good job. So anyway, you can offer that as a service when you detail a car. So hopefully you like the video. Please rate, subscribe, and comment, and we'll see you on the next one.